Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So we already have the deck shuffled. We're ready to go. So let's get right into your reading, Sagittarius. Let's see what's coming towards you for the month of February. Now your first card here is the Eight of Wands, a lot of communication. Uh, for some of you guys, you may be communicating with your partner, the person of your interest through social media, um, texting, phone calls, um, a lot of heavy communication coming in. Um, now the challenge here is the Five of Wands. So I feel that for a lot of you guys, um, Sagittarians, you guys are going to be experiencing a burst of passionate energy. For some of you guys, it could be um, those of you guys that have been single for quite a while. It could be very motivated to find a new partner. It could be you socializing, going on social media, uh, going on websites, even dating sites, that type of energy. Um, really putting your energy out there and seeing what's out there. Uh, this is very exciting type of energy. Now, for those of you guys that are in a long term relationship, there is a lot of communication. Again, like I said, unfortunately, it could be very aggressive type of communication as the five of wands usually indicates um, an inner struggle that's going on. For some of you guys, you may have the opportunity uh, to or you may feel like you have to make a choice between two decisions, one that is complete opposite and contrast to what you're wanting and the other also something you're wanting, but it's more of a temptation type of energy. Now, again, five of wands usually indicates a duality, um, you know, uh, the good side of you fighting the bad side of you. So I feel that for some of you guys, you may be experiencing uh, wanting that, you know, monogamous relationship or wanting that long term uh, relationship or stability. But there is also uh, a suppressed desire to want to expand or to want to experience new experiences uh, when it comes to love and romance. For others of you, you may be entertaining multiple suitors. Um, now, the past and passing, I do see someone looking towards you. They could be uh, kind of stalking, looking at your social media, looking at this video, <laughs> looking at uh, just wanting to see exactly what's going on. And I feel that they are kind of tapping into uh, or almost listening to their intuition because something is telling them that there is someone that's got your attention, Sagittarius. So again, for those of you guys that are in a long-term relationship, I feel that things are not working out the way you would want or what you were expecting. Um, based off of that, perhaps you've been entertaining other suitors. And the Knight of Cups does symbolize to me a love offering or a truce. Uh, perhaps the partner wanting to put effort or wanting to get your attention. Now, what's on your mind, you are very defensive, Sagittarius. I feel that, um, again, you could be very, you could be taking on the aggressor type of energy, like standing or putting your foot down, um, not allowing people to uh, belittle you or not allowing people to put you in a box, basically. I feel that for some of you guys, you may be tempted in the sense of if you've been in a serious long-term relationship um, and you, there is something within you that is brewing um, and it's been suppressed for quite a while and I feel that you're going to choose the temptation or you're going to choose uh, something that could be temporary, something that may not last, but you're doing it because you are in search of some type of excitement or passion in your life. I feel you've lacked that in this relationship. Now, what you what you don't see coming towards you is the wheel of the year. Remember, Sagittarius, if you are in a long term relationship or have been in a long term relationship and you feel that the passion has weathered or you're no longer emotionally invested in this person, it's best you speak up now and be completely honest and transparent. You don't want to go after something that you're thinking is going to pan out long term and it turns out it's only something temporary because then you're going to left feeling like you were taken advantage of. So just be mindful about that. Now, if this is you, Sagittarius, that you're dealing with that type of energy, a partner that comes and goes, uh, and it could be because they are connected or interested in another person, because perhaps in your relationship, uh, the passion has kind of weathered. Um, we go back to the same message here. 
uh, with the offering of love. If you're the one that's been putting effort and energy, don't allow other people to take that for granted. Uh, ultimately, when it comes to relationships, um, everyone takes loyalty very, very, um, very lightly, I think. And when it comes to the point of them being in a mature state of mind or in a mature part of their life, that's very difficult to find loyalty. So again, don't jeopardize that if you in fact have that. Now, the advice card here is the page of wands. I do see you guys. Yeah. Okay. So what they're what they're showing me here is for some of you guys, um, you could be tempted to step out of the relationship. That's if you didn't already step out of the relationship, as I do have the three of cups here next to the page of wands, choosing to go after the passion. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be that you're dealing with a water energy, um, Pisces, Scorpio, uh, cancer type of energy. Um, for others of you, uh, that could be the person of your interest in, in the present time. Um, but again, like I said, I think that you're going into this blindly. You're expecting something in return and what they're bringing to you is only temporary bliss or temporary uh, satisfaction. So keep that in mind. Um, again, for those of you guys that are or have been single for quite a while, I think that you're going to start to experience having more people come around or trying to get your attention. Um, but again, if you are dealing with a water energy, be very careful as I feel that they may not present themselves to you the way they truly are or even tell you exactly what they're looking for. They may make it seem to you that they're looking for something long term uh, when in reality they're only looking for that physical connection. So be mindful and careful about that. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed like share and comment and we'll see each other soon. Bye.